<laughs> it started when an unidentified man punched Dr. Dre uh, in the face. Uh, take a look at this. Damn, I guess it's just an honor to be nominated and not stabbed. <laughs> now, we've been talking about this all week, uh, about the problems they had over at the Vibe Awards. Uh, we want to shed some light on this, and we have here tonight one of the hip-hop world's top producers, a guy that was here that, that, that was there that evening. Please welcome the man, Suge Knight. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about. Hmm. Thanksgiving's coming up. Everywhere I go, they blame me for it. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true. Not, yeah. not, not to be... You, you, you are blamed for almost everything. The Vibe Awards took place, and all on the Internet, and all the news reports, uh, everybody said that you had uh, something to do with it, and you are here to shed some light on it. So all I can say is uh, I hope nothing I do makes you choke me, but... Uh, <laughs> You, you are. Like, like uh, I, I'm, I, what, what reminds me of you a lot is uh, I watched The Godfather, and at one point, one of the characters asked The Godfather, is it better to be feared or respected? And everywhere you go, there's a level of, damn, what's going to happen? <laughs> you should see my producers. They ain't even the real producers. They do the hired. That... <laughs> so, the, so the vibe was. I mean, you know. To no, me, we don't. That's why you okay. here. <laughs> Well, why you wasn't there? Because <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Even Quincy Jones, you see what I'm saying? What the hell? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Quincy Jones, I got to get back on the block. This is, uh... It was, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was crazy. Definitely was. You know, I, actually, I was so excited about going to the Five Awards because... The first time I seen it, I was incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, this little club atmosphere, it's a nice setting. So I came out to support the awards. Right. But I think any time you go to the awards, the first and most important thing is you're doing it for the kids. Right. You're not doing it for everybody else. And I think a lot of times the attention takes away from the, the award itself. If you got artists that got to have 30 police with them when they come, 25, 50 people. So now it's like it's not a war show no more. Now it's like a who's what. But, you know, it was... To me, it was it was started off as a good night, but right, I, yeah. <laughs> Until you get a lifetime achievement award and somebody knocked the hell out of you. <laughs> but 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 why 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 is that? Now I, I grew up I really, in L.A. I, and I, I really I really think that was a. I think that's first of all. I think it's important that everybody even you know appreciate the fact that uh, Dre got an award. Right, right. Of course, he came to bring the award. Right. I think it's important. <laughs> A lot of times, you know, a lot of times people felt like it was to be, everybody was to be bitter. Mm -hmm. But it's not nothing to be bitter about. I thought it was, a, um, actually, I thought it was great that everybody was getting an award. But I think the most important part that uh, is really the part that's really messed up is that people's not talking about Dre getting an award. They're talking about the incident, him getting socked before he getting an award. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that really had nothing to do with... Well, no, it didn't, but the, you, you love hip-hop. You've, yeah, been, it, it, you've been instrumental, and uh, West Coast hip-hop really took off when you put your stamp on it. So it's kind of uh, uh, gangster rap, what didn't really even exist. I mean, it's funny to me, because I, I grew up in the city. Right. I grew up here in your name. I grew yeah. up on 135th Avenue, always had right. heard about you for years. And this, this, this thing that you guys did, I mean, literally sprung the whole country. So that's something to be proud of. And you and, and, you and uh, Dre, for wherever, I don't know the situation that you're in right now, did that together. So there's, there's, there's something to be said for that. You I was there, together. like I said, I was there to support it. And then, you know, a lot of times the, the media hype things up or record labels put stuff in people's head where they should act a certain way. And my hands be tied on a simple fact. When I go to a war show, even if it was a fight breaking out, a fight Man. about to break out, it's not like I can go and say, hey, leave Dre alone, this person do anything on the fact that that's a violation for me. If I, if, if I speak to him, I look at him, I go back to prison because that's one of my parole conditions. Right. So my, my thing is I go out, support the, you know, the awards, see what goes on with it. 
but hip hop supposed to be about the culture of the people what's going on. Right. And every now and then, a few things gonna get out of hand. But but that's happening. <laughs> I, I know, and I'm I really, you know, I'm just a temporary host, so I... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ain't no point in me getting the hell choked out of me for none of this, but the, it's happening more and more. It's the Vibe Awards, it's, you know, all these awards, and it, it seems to, to happen so much. And I swear, every time, even when you were, you were incarcerated, she did it. You know, like, uh, damn, you did everything. Yeah, you did. It's, that, it's that did the Source Awards because it was, you know... How does that make you feel that everybody, yeah, I mean, no matter what you do, that, that you're going to be... Uh... I mean, what I've basically been doing is um, I'm happy with my life. You know what I mean? God bless you. You got to enjoy it. For sure. And I've been putting my, my energy into we finished Corrupt's album against the Grand coming out. We got Petey Pablo on death row now. Mm -hmm. So that's like... <laughs> you know what I mean? We gone. So it's like... Those are the type of pieces I like messing with. It's like family one to the people who really want to do something. We're in, uh, making can I, can a bring some... Scarface to Death Row. I, I've always been, and not just because you, yeah. I, I've always loved what Death Row wrote, the, the, a lot of the music that he did. Right. And you talked about Dre getting an award. Can I ask you, are you really proud of him? Because like, cause it's got to be, you had, you had to a lot to do with it. It's like this, if when you see Dre getting an award, or even if it's Snoop or whoever they used to be on Death Row, that's a part of the past that I'm proud of. So for me to be saying, oh, I don't like him performing, I don't like him getting an award, that's like talking about myself. Right. Because we all created what we created together. For sure. So that means when they go on to do well, that means they learn something. So that's important. Now you, you talked a lot about the productive deals and the people that you're business with. You, you, you got a book? You got books coming I out? I got a book coming out called American Dreams, American Nightmare. And there's been a lot of questions about myself, death row, people on death row. And I feel it's, it's this time that I, I put a period where it's a question mark at. And also, I'm doing, uh, uh, with all my people at Death Row, a TV show, more like a reality TV show with uh, 20. Because uh, I got the Chris Death Row Christmas album. And we still going bad, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to be hitting your head, the Death Row Christmas yeah, album. I, 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 <laughs> it's hard to... <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, damn it! That's I mean... <laughs> Hey, well, Come on, man. I mean, you know, I, I mean, hip-hop hip -hop is like this. You're supposed to be able to talk about what you talk it's about. That's young. why it's a, it's a young man's sport. Right. It's, I mean, it looks out of line of a guy like 39 years old that made it with five, ten kids right. talking about he living with his mama. But right. if a guy's still 18, 19 years old, that's what he sees. That's what goes on in his life. Mm -hmm. And it's important they be able to express themselves. It's important that I think hip-hop, a lot of the hip-hop guys is more true to regardless of something happening that don't happen to the game. And I think one of the problems with these award shows is you gotta have great people at the award shows. You gotta have a show, you gotta have a great host because that's like a club. If you go yep. to a club and it's packed and the DJ is garbage, ain't nobody dancing, yeah. all of a sudden everybody looking around, maybe gonna be a fight. But if it's the DJ great, they're gonna, gonna be partying. You right. go to awards and nobody's there and it's all just empty, people looking to party to do something. Right. And like if, Usher can go to American Music Awards, they can go to the Vi Awards. Right. I guess Usher might be smarter than everybody else because he <laughs> knows that. But it still it goes to show you that at one point in time, for us to get to the next level, everybody got to start being more professional. And everybody got to be to the point where you can get along you know with the situation. I couldn't have said it any better. I'm glad so you did. came, man. I love you, brother. Keep hey, doing man. your thing. Give it up to my man, Shug Knight.